Hello guys and welcome to episode 13 of my Berezina campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we pushed back the Soviet forces once again. The 505th Heavy Panzer Battalion is quite isolated at the moment, but we'll go ahead and destroy the 3rd Guards Mechanized Corps to begin today. So this is going to be relatively simple. They don't have much in the way of infantry. They do have a few Zis 2s and plenty of 120mm mortars, but that is about it. So what I'm likely to do is probably just roll on in with the police detachment and the 53rd tank destroyer battalion and we'll just clean this up nice and quickly. Let's tactical battle and jump on in. I might have to be a little bit careful with the martyrs, they'll get popped very quickly by the Zis 2s. So I'll likely be using mostly recon units to spot what is ahead of us. And then we can just run them down with a few tanks, or maybe I could just use the multi Wilfak Werfers. We haven't used them yet, I believe, in this campaign, so maybe we could do that. Let's do it. Bring a couple in on the hill here, and I'll bring a couple in on the left-hand side as well. Cool. I have an Aufklader that can zoom to the church. And we'll have Aufkladers from the Marders division into the center and so on. Actually, let's just put one on the edge of the hill there. I'll probably need one on the right-hand side. And I guess we'll need one on the left. Cool. And after that, not really sure what I want to bring. I guess MG42s would be pretty good, so we'll bring one of those. I'll leave that up on the hill for the time being. Use the battery fitter in the town. They don't have much infantry, so the more infantry I can use, the better. But we don't really have much infantry ourselves as well, so there's that. I could use pack 40s actually. This would be a pretty good way of of not getting taken out by the Zis 2s. As long as I get them into position in time. Because they only cost one point a piece. It's pretty good. Put three on the left side. Cool. And then I'm probably just going to bring in like T60s and stuff for the hills on either side, just to engage stuff at close range. I might even bring up the SPW203 on that right hand side. I will right, launch the battle. That'll do. Uh, whenever we see like a unit, we can just rocket it and then probably charge it down. Uh, I'm going to be using the majority of the units from this police detachment, so that is the plan here. Just got to keep an eye on things as we move forwards. I would preemptively fire my Vilfax Werthers, but I don't think that's a good idea. Turn off APCR on all of these. Well, they're just going to get hit by all the HG shells. I don't think there's anything we're going to come up against that requires APCR. I'm just turning it off so that the AP shells kill the transports if they hit them. Oh, 
That's probably one reason why we shouldn't have used pack 40s. <laughs> is because of the 120mm mortars that they have. Which are probably actually going to move on. I can push these across the open, no problem. Let's have that T60 just move forwards there. And both of these pack 40s move up. Cool. I guess I could actually use the Wielfachwerfer to hit where the mortars are. That wouldn't be a bad shout. Let's just move that MG42 forwards. Need another thing with speed, really, to push through here. These do have a lot of ammunition, <laughs> but they don't really do much damage. Well, the aft cloud I got hit directly by the shot from the 120mm mortar there. really need like an infantry squad on this right hand side but I don't think I have any that I can use properly. Maybe we just have to move forwards with the recon car there. Maybe that'll do the trick. Oh shit. Oh good. Thankfully that is probably firing APCR. So it probably won't kill the T60 unless I let the T60 roll forwards again. Alright, lovely. I'm not even sure where that was firing from. I think it was maybe one of these trees down here. Or it was further up. Anyway, we'll just uh, keep our line of pack 40s moving forwards. <laughs> Very unconventional push here, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to win in two minutes. Thought those ones being hit. Oh, good. I'm going to guess that is dead, yeah. That recon car. At least it found out where the enemy AT gun was. <laughs> we can kill that now quite easily. I'll just put the both the Wilfachwerfers on there. And we can also just fire at the mortar over on that left side in a bit. I have the battery for you to head up there. We're actually really close to capturing all of the objectives. Well, we got a direct hit there, but so did they. One weird thing about these Vilfaf is they are armored, technically, but they do they don't have any armor like in the game. Bit weird. 
So if they do get hit by artillery like that, they will die. Twenty four to zero. Total sort of victory in eight minutes. We did actually lose a few units there. Oh well, job done. That's gonna destroy them. And it allows me to recover the five hundred and fifth heavy panzer battalion, get them into friendly lines again. And next up, uh, we are going to want to attack the fifth tank regiment with the 1st Battalion of the 31st Panzer Regiment. That was the whole idea behind not using them in the initial attack to disorganize these units. So that's what we're going to do. We'll hit the 5th Tank Regiment. We'll bring in the Panthers. I will have to be a little bit careful about Valentines at close range, but otherwise we'll be fine. And then I think I'm just going to bring in the 13th Panzer Grand Regiment HQ to back us up. Because they are going to be pretty isolated. Uh, we might have to deal with the Gavardia later down the line. But we do have the Grela. Once we take out most of the tanks. It might be worth bringing in like these Panzergrens, for example, behind. But nah, we're not going to do that just yet. It probably won't reach phase C anyway. Okay. Let's tactical battle and jump on in. It's gonna be another conquest battle on the same map. So it's just a matter of setting up our Panthers on the hills. We'll just try and pop as many of them as we can from range. They aren't going to really have that much to work with in phase A. Because they only have one battalion joining the battle. I don't think there was much in the way of infantry actually. Hmm. I'll put a couple there. A couple will head towards the town. And then we'll have a couple on the left hand side. They can go up on the hill with a Panther G Führer. Cool. That leaves us with one point. I probably just go for some spear through. We'll put into the church. Cool. And we'll just add more infantry to this battlefield uh, later down the line. So let's just carry on. Got our Panthers and their little trios zooming down the roads. Very cool indeed. The Panther G1s probably look the best. Okay. We're already making ground. If they have deployed Valentines from the start, they're actually going to be really slow to push forwards. So that may be why we make some ground early. If they are using the T-34s, and the T-34s will actually get to the front line before us. I'm just going to put those on return fire. Bring up some more infantry here. Well, that is a T-34. I'm just going to turn off the APCR shells. We get one-shot kills. Thank you. 
Just moving those panthers into a position to shoot down the road there. And also shoot up towards the hill from cover. If I have something that has AT at closer ranges, I should probably use it. Well, there's the first engagement. The T-34 is dead. Well, there's a Valentine. Gonna have to be careful engaging that. We'll try and keep our distance. Gotta be very careful. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we got them all. I'm going to have all of these actually uh, move to yeah, this point just beyond the town and then we'll have a couple more panthers come up onto the hill. Right, meanwhile here, we're just going to want to move up with the panthers and I guess we could probably move up onto the hill there. We're already in a position where we're going to get total victory in 2 minutes and 50 seconds. I think we're okay. Oh, there we go. That's another Valentine down. Just got these little squads of Valentines coming up against Panthers, poor things. A load of wound. Two shots. And that's the kill. There goes another Valentine on the left hand side. They don't stand a chance. Okay. Total victory. Didn't lose anything, which is good. And we killed plenty of Valentines and one T34. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to destroy the unit. Hopefully it is. Okay, that's good. And now that just leaves the 1446th Self-Propelled Artillery Regiment in a position to attack the 1st Battalion of the 31st Panzer Regiment, but that's okay. Like, I don't really mind if they try and do that because we'll just kill them. Now, next up, uh, we're going to want to attack the 62nd Motorized Rifle Battalion. This should be a relatively simple job if we lead the charge with the Panzer 4s. I could also bring in my LVF Grenadiers behind, but it might be better to use, I guess, these Panzergrands. They won't be able to come in until Phase C, though. The only issue with attacking with this 31st Panzer Regiment is that we don't have much in the way of infantry. That's going to be a little awkward. But I reckon we could still make it work. I could bring in something like the AA. Just for sort of moral support and to give us more points to work with. Or I could just leave it, but I don't want the 62nd Motorized Rifle Battalion helping 
the 1446th versus the 31st Panzer Regiment. Because although the 31st Panzer Regiment would win, it would just be a pretty annoying battle to face off against. So I'd rather just use the Panzer Fours here to get the job done. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're actually going to bring in the AA behind the Panzer Fours. Cool. Not that we need the AA specifically, but there we go. That will give us the points we need. And it looks like in Phase C, if it gets there, they'll be bringing in some Shermans. The 18th Guards Tank Brigade and the 3rd Guards Tank Brigade will arrive in Phase C. So we want to get things done by then. Should be pretty simple. We'll do a similar thing to before with the tanks. Now these can be killed by the 45 mils at range, so I am going to have to be careful of that. Okay, we're more or less set up. May bring in like a unit of pioneers on the right and left. Just to help us out with any infantry we come up against. And then maybe just some Spätrope in the middle once the battle starts. And yeah, we'll just uh, send them to the churches again, I think. Cool. It may have been worth uh, trying to use the Afkrada Panzer IV as opposed to the normal Panzer IVs, but it's okay. Alright, we'll just speed things up. Watch our Panzer Fours drive forwards. Again, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to unload my Pioneer early here because it seems like they're pushing forwards with something. I'm just not sure what. Well, that will be the Mott Avtos in those M301 replicas. Uh, this is probably going to want to fall back, otherwise they're both going to get surrendered. Okay, good. We managed to get far enough away, now i just got to save them with the Panzer Fours. Gonna try and pick up the pioneer. Please don't die. Oh, that's so annoying. Go on, pick him up. Oh, he just died. <laughs> Tragic. All right. Well, that sucks. But we'll be able to uh, kill off these avtos quite quickly. We do have three star units after all. Oh, I just lost a Panzer IV. I lost both of the Panzer IVs there. That was the Razvitka squad. <laughs> oh, cheeky. Must be like the only Razvitka squad in the entire division. Or battalion. Alright. <laughs> Let's start playing a bit more. Careful. Because that's an absolute waste so far. Let's bring up those Spätrup. I'll bring up the Pioneer onto the hill with the Spätrup and we'll bring up the Panzer IV there. I'll also bring up a Gepard. And I'll probably need some infantry on this left hand side. Gonna have my pioneer climb the hill, I think, on the right. Meanwhile, we'll have the half track kind of try and cut off the units on the hill. 
Alright, let's just unload the spear rope because they might be in the trees here. We'll have these go either side. They're not in the tree line. And the Gavardi are already pinned there, so that's why I changed the target to the Avto, so we could kill them off easier. We just absolutely wrecked them. Great. So there's four units of infantry there. That's probably why all of the units died, actually. Like all of the Panzerfors that were there died. Oh, come on, there's a Rezutka there now. I guess they got another one, huh? It's like trading infantry squads for tanks right now, which is not the best. But I guess we're not really going to use the Panzer Wars for anything else after this. Have that go into cover. My Gepard's actually really good for taking care of these units. Which is why I brought it in. We'll bring up a HP through to the right and we'll keep this moving forwards. Oh, that's the Razzard. Okay, I thought that was the Motaptos that were retreating. I guess never mind, huh? They're still going to get pinned down. Well, that's the Motavto. <laughs> I don't think I really appreciated the Rosvitka in this battle. Oh well. Bring in uh, some Luftwaffe Jäger on the left to support those units. I'll move the Pioneers forwards there so we can see what's coming our way. And now it's just a matter of pushing up and taking these flags. I'm going to bring up a battery field on the left side. I'm just getting the Panzer IVs into position now as well. There goes the other M17, taking all of those out. Looks like I accidentally turned off the machine gun there. Oh well, we'll have the Panzer IV uh, move into the town there and shoot up the road. There's a 45 mil we're going to have to take care of at some point. And both the machine guns and the HE engaging now onto the Motavtos so will do plenty of damage. Let's get these uh, Alfkala Panzer IVs into the center. I'll be able to help us spot things from range. Very cool. Let's see what we find. And we can sort of drive around the corner then with the Panzer IVs. We'll just speed things up a bit. We will probably be able to hit the major victory pretty shortly, or even a total victory.
Bring in some more Panzer IVs on the left. Well, that's gun jammed. Oh, I guess that's going to be the... Yeah, the AT gun that was there. Sucks. And the driver kill. Okay. Sure thing. Well, don't really mind about losing a Gepard. Gonna get that Panzer IV in to cover that. We're starting to open up this left side, which is nice. All right, let's move the Panzer IVs to the edge of the hill on the right, because that will give them overwatch on this road. We can bring in some more to join them. Wait, did I just lose... Well, that would have been the half-track, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. No worries there at all. I do have two more units of Luftwaffe Jäger that I could bring in. I think I might bring them in towards this town and use them to push across the open. Because we've got the two Spätheer up on the right-hand side. We've got the one up on the hill as well. We are being shot at by an AT gun. I don't want to back off from that on the hill here. And we will find that eventually anyway, uh, since it's going to be in the position where my Luftwaffe Jäger and Battlefield are heading for. Uh, it's good to see my Panzer IV now engaging the 82mm mortar. That's going to be a major victory in three minutes. Cool. Alright, let's move forward to the Spätrup here. They might be able to find the 45mm for us and before it can kill anything else. I'm going to unload these early just so I don't forget about them. We'll have them start pushing on that. Right, there's the AT gun. And it's a goner. another point under our control. Normally like an AT gun here, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's another one there that we're going to have to kill off. Might lose a couple of units to it. I have one more battery for that I can bring in, so we'll use that. Right, you can't see that 45 mil. It's like right in this tree line, I think. I think at close range, the it's like 400 meters, you can spot a unit in heavy cover that's on the edge of the cover at least. In this case, we were blocked by line of sight here because of the density of the trees, but I think it's 400 meters that you can spot stuff in heavy cover if you're looking at it from open ground.
Okay, good. Taking out that AT gun is going to allow the Panzer Force to just sit and cover the road. And we'll look to kill off these other units here. Right, it's 10 seconds till total victory. Job done. 15 minutes, 13 seconds. Uh, we did lose 1, 2, 3, 4 Panzer IVs, but those are as That's what they're there for. I'm not too unhappy with that. Did also lose the Gepard, of course. And it looks like those tanks were drawn into that battle, which is interesting. So now these might attack my Panzer IV battalion. Hmm. Well, that wasn't so bad. We're up to 38,000 in score now, which is pretty ridiculous. On the top side, no attacks that need to be made. They will likely hit the 80th Flak Regiment again with the 2nd Battalion of the 9th Guards mechanised. Just because this unit is, I think, going to recover next turn. Alright. No more movement. All of these have used up their action points that I wanted them to. Uh, we can actually dig those ones in. And I may as well move these up, actually. Well, maybe we could move them across over here. Now we'll move that one upward. And we'll have the 1st Battalion of the 14th Panzergram Regiment come downward. Here we go. We'll, creep, we'll keep Grouper Manica there. And then uh, Battlegraph on Unhalt. I think we'll just have keep going with us. We already have the 5th Panzer Division HQ behind these units at the bridge. Can I dig that in? I can. Alright, we'll just do that in, so I, I know that that's my front line. Kind of past it now with the heavy tanks, but I just want to make sure we have something to fall back onto. They keep piling troops in down here like they have been on the top side. There's still loads of troops here. At some point, these tank regiments are going to have to plow into our 88s. We're moving on to the next turn. One more day to go. And we're under attack. So, it's going to be the 1st Battalion of the 17th SS Police Regiment. They're going to be under attack by the 25th Motorized Rifle Battalion, the 1705th Malay Regiment, and the 9th Guards Mechanized Brigade. All right. We'll just uh, pull in the mixed AA, and I don't think I want to pull in anything else. I could maybe bring in Battle Group Corner. Uh, let's do that. They are kind of spare. I just actually maybe not because I don't want that to move them in this direction. Will it do that though? I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't think we need them. Like, all of these are weakened, so we'll just tactical battle and we'll jump on in. Yeah, this should be pretty simple. I'm just going to set up my defenses very quickly and we'll just speed through it. Alright, let's do it. So, MG bunkers and everything is going to be in the open. Those pack 37s in the same place as always. Very good. That will do. Uh, I'll probably just put a 50 mil on that road. I need a uh, 37 on that right side. 
the bigger one to cover it. Okay, that's all of the bunkers placed down. Now we'll just place down the 88s as we always do. Same old, same old. And then we're going to need the battery filler in each of these places. We can set up the command so they are super effective and accurate. Just do super there, super filler like here. And I guess I could put like a super filler here. It may be best to just put... I'll put the Commandant in the middle again. Between those two. And we'll put a Commandant, I think, on the right. Because this is generally... The position from which we get the most kills. So just place some shoot bow. Have those in trenches. And that's all of the shoot bow down, right? And then we'll just have like an elf clutter. with them, some of these to provide us with the extra recon. Let's just get those trenches down and I'll probably just start the battle. Actually, it might be worth having like a couple of units <laughs> that sit on top of here. Uh, let's just do like the Panzerbuchsers to hold the front line. <laughs> Make sure they all have a trench. Trenches are so important for infantry, they really are. They save you so much damage. Like I think it's better for infantry to be in a trench than in heavy forest. But for like a lot of the support weapons, like the 88s and stuff, it's better for them to be in the heavy forest than it is in like a gun pit, for example. But I think it's just, it's just like how the uh, artillery works against stuff. Kind of weird. I'm just putting down the barbed wire in between all of my fortifications. Perfect. That's it. Let's launch the battle. And we'll just whack it to three speed. There's a lot of units coming our way. <laughs> wow. Well, loads of kills for us. Quite a lot of recon stuff to begin with. On the first tick, probably going to have like the Luftwaffe Jäger just come up and accompany the 50mm bunker here. And I'll need some units to kind of cover in the trees. I may also want to bring in some supply, because I feel like my 88s in a battle like this are just going to use up all of their ammunition very quickly. I may also want to get a little raiding party together to go and hunt down some of those mortars and stuff.
Let's bring in a couple of these Opa Blitzes. Great. We're filling up the trenches there. I do love how the fortifications look in this game. They are really cool. Especially like the barbed wire. It's just done so well. Currently just annihilating anything that's coming towards us. What happened to my other Opa Blitz? Did I die? Did it get here and die? No way. Maybe I just didn't bring it in. That could well be the case. Oh, was Shupo firing away. Probably going to want to reload them actually, because <laughs> they're going to run out of ammunition very quickly on their machine guns. I'll start bringing in the MGs on this left hand side. Maybe I could bring in like a bunch of Opal Blitzes to just pick them up. It's not like we have a shortage of points. going to give these shift unload orders so they unload when they get to their positions let's go pick up these mg teams there we go i'm going to have them zoom up and we're going to unload them we're going to run through these trees and we're going to start shooting up those 82mm mortars and the uh, F-22s. Let's keep things sped up. Eight minutes left. Oh, Shupo getting... Forced to fall back there from the artillery. When they do get pinned down because they are disheartened, they will automatically run away, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. Hopefully these will make it into position. One of these gets killed next to the others. It will cause a chain reaction that just kills all of them. Things sped up. Okay, great. Spread these out. No, that's not good. <laughs> we just invoked the wrath of all of this infantry. Those MGs are so dead. They are so, so dead. 
<laughs> oh well. <laughs> Worth a shot, I guess. A battery field has got pretty low on health. Maybe I'll move him up the hill. They are slowly but surely building up this artillery quite substantially. Move the battery hitter back on that side as well. I don't even know why I'm bringing in more 20 mils, just giving them something to shoot at. Something to aim at with the artillery. Which isn't really a good thing. Let's keep things sped up again. All these units like <laughs> being forced to fall back. Um, so many F twenty twos. What it is. <laughs> Artillery. Look at all the craters. I'm gonna just get my guys back to the trenches. Looks like my half cutter are dying as well. Oh, well, there goes an 88. Classic. Just gonna push over that flag moving, push the uh, total victory. There we go. We got it. Wonderful. 16 minutes 28 seconds. We lost those three MGs. We lost a 20 mil, we lost an 88, two half platter, and uh, one Opal Blitz Munition. Yeah. I think I did bring a one and it kind of got killed. It's okay. Well, a successful defense, which is going to disorganize those units. And we didn't overcommit to do so, which is good. Oh, this isn't good. Battle Group Walter, I think you're dead. The 1496th Self Propelled Artillery Regiment has just recovered from being disorganized. So that's going to be a tough old battle. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we will do our best with Battlegrip Walter. I don't think there's anything we can really do to help out. I don't have the Night Bomber group available. So this is just going to be my Stug holding on for dear life, really. Alongside Erzatz, Thrupen, and so on. Yeah. Going to be an interesting one. Gonna be indefinitely hard though. How much could we even kill? Not much, not much at all. Only the IGs and Stugs have like arm piercing. And the SC76s can definitely kill the Stug 3, so I don't think that's gonna last very long. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.